Blondie in this beast of a car. Um, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being a part of the Supercar Blondie family. So let me introduce you to the G-Wagon pickup. We're in Dubai, as you can see, one of the most iconic buildings, that's the Burj Al Arab. And we've got the Atlantis over there. You guys must know the Atlantis. And we've got the Dubai Marina, and then we've got one of the most powerful pickups in the world. In Australia, we'd call this a ute, mate. What this is, is Brabus has taken a G-Wagon and they've created this from a standard G-Wagon. So let me tell you everything they've done. First off, you can see how much longer it is. I've actually extended the wheelbase by 50 centimeters, right? And then if you come around the front, you've got this wide star body design. So this is 12 centimeters wider than the standard G-Wagon as well. And then it is of course lifted, right? We all want a lift kit. That is also something they've done. We cannot ignore the fact that it now is a tray back. This is kind of like a mini 6x6 because the 6x6 also has a tray back, but it has six wheels. What is in here? All right, these things right here. These are mounting tracks because you won't believe what you can actually get with this car as an optional extra. You can get a massive drone. This is more your very high-end ute that is going to house your heavy duty wing copter that is what they call it and it'll cost you about a hundred thousand dollars more this has like a wingspan of two meters you guys and it flies about 240 kilometers an hour this is serious business when you think about that 240 kilometers an hour that drone will fly faster than your car this car has a top speed of 210 kilometers an hour so what is this pickup actually called this is the 800 xlp adventure that is what they've actually labeled it and actually you can see it right here beautifully on the back of the car and this one is a first edition now there's only going to be 10 first editions ever made and this is the first one in the middle east and i've got my hands on it so thank you very much to brabus this is a four liter twin turbo v8 and what they've done is they've taken the engine from the standard g-wagon and they've bumped it up a notch they have totally tuned this thing to 800 horsepower right this baby costs you four times as much as a standard g-wagon the entry level price for this is about six hundred and forty thousand dollars plus 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 all of the optional extras you've got these heavy duty rims here and 22 inch uh, all-terrain tires now they all come standard on this car what doesn't come standard is a few other things like this this is an optional extra this roof rack and also you've got some cool lighting that i'm going to show you in just a second watch what happens yes you have got a retractable step and at night this actually has led lights underneath it so when this comes down at night this is actually illuminated and then you know exactly where you're stepping right come on in guys come on in so you've got all of these nice little Bravas features, right, to remind you that you are in something super special. Um, you've got a lot of carbon fiber everywhere, you guys. Look at this. It's all over here in the mid console. This is all optional extra. This does not come standard, you guys. What I love about Brabus is they actually have an extra sound boost exhaust system that you can turn on and off. Now, check this out. So here's your start stop button. All right, and this is actually a Brabus digital display as well. You can see here, Brabus, this red ring around the speedometer is actually Brabus. That does not come standard in the G-Wagon. Right, now, let me just rev it here because we're in comfort mode. Now, come on back. This is how you make this beast sound just the way it looks you go with this button here into sports plus that automatically opens up the exhaust now listen yeah, that's what i'm 
talking about. <laughs> it makes a massive difference, right? You can actually get that Brabus exhaust system note, which I absolutely love and I think is a definite on a beast like this. You need it, need it, need it. All right, now check out what is in here. Press this button. You have got three buttons here. Can you see that? Yes. All right, now I'm gonna press this one first. Go outside and check what happens. LEDs mounted on the front and you've got the spotlights and then around the back also they're cool little features that you can control here with these buttons also the third button is for the winch you guys so you can control that from here and there is an optional extra winch there at the front now I have to be honest with you when I was reading about this car I was like $640,000 but now that I'm in it I kind of get it I think they've done a really really nice job the only thing that confuses me is the drone on the back I don't really understand why <laughs> you you need a drone on the back of your pickup when I read about that I was like why why <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me why does Bravas have a matching like two meter wide drone that actually has a landing pad in the back of the car but then I thought you know it's kind of a cool story to tell your mates right imagine if you did have one so here's the back we got the aircon pumping sorry about that guys G-Wagon has 585 horsepower. This one has 800 horsepower. But get this, the zero to 100 of a standard G-Wagon is four and a half seconds. This one is slower. Zero to 100, 4.8 seconds. So it's got a hell of a lot more horsepower, but it's not quite as quick to the 100 mark. Very comfy, you sit up nice and high. Oh, the seat helped me. Oh yeah? Yeah. Really? When I did the corner. Oh nice. Uh, okay, let's try this again. You. I love that. When I first experienced a seat actually hugging you, I was like, whoa, what is happening? Let me see. Oh yeah! <laughs> so what happens guys is look, this whole panel here actually comes out and hugs you around your tummy to keep you in. <laughs> I love that! I love all these little details, man. Quite an adventure, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Uh, give us a quick thumbs up and yeah, tell your mates about the craziest pickup ever. Thanks to Brabus, thank you so much for letting us experience this crazy beast.